In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front brake flex hoses on this BMW 328i. These are going to be located behind the front wheels. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel, use a 17 millimeter socket, take these lug bolts out. And before you take the last one out, I'm just going to hold the wheel. Take that out then grab the wheel and pull it off. Now we're gonna push down on the brake pedal. I'm just gonna use a prop rod just to hold the brake pedal down. That's gonna prevent brake fluid from coming out when we have the system open. It's like the master cylinder is a valve when it's closed. So put that on. At the brake line where it comes in to connect to the flex hose, we're gonna loosen up this nut. Use a 11 millimeter line wrench and have a drain bucket underneath, you're gonna lose a little bit of fluid. Crack that free. Pull that down. Pull that bracket down. Grab the hose, pull it up, out of the way, out of that bracket. Now follow the hose and there's grommets held onto this bracket here. So we wanna pop those grommets out of the bracket. Just push these towards the center of the vehicle. Just like that. And then this one, you're just gonna push more towards the back of the vehicle. Pop those out. I'm gonna loosen up the brake hose using a 14 millimeter line wrench. You can have a drain bucket underneath to catch some of the fluid. Let's get it loose. Should be able to do this by hand. I'm just gonna untwist it. fluid and take the new hose and get this started and just twist it in and snug it down and now we're going to torque that to 19 foot pounds Good. I'm using a crow's foot, 14 millimeter crow's foot. Now take the hose where the grommets are gonna go into the bracket here. Line those up, push those in place. Same with the one in the back. Get that lined up. There we go. Take the brake hose, go through the bracket. Make sure it's not twisted toward the strut. Twist it away from the strut a little bit. And get this lined up. Now snug this down. Then using a 11 millimeters crow's foot, we're gonna to torque this nut to 8.8 .8 foot pounds. That's good. Now we can take the hood prop off the brake pedal. Now we're gonna gravity bleed the brakes. You wanna top off the brake fluid in the reservoir. Pop that bleeder screw cap off, and we'll use a 11 millimeter wrench. Loosen up the bleeder screw. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. You can see there's a little bit of bubbles coming out. 
we want a nice steady stream. So that might take a couple minutes. All right, that's a nice steady stream. I'll just close this up. Snug this down. And put the cap back on. Now you want to check the brake pedal, see how the pedal feels. If it still feels squishy, then you want to do a full brake bleed procedure. Otherwise, you're good to go. Take a little brake parts cleaner. Clean that off. And put the wheel on. Get that lined up. Put the lug stud in. Snug that down. Snug those down. Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 80 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. In the event that you need to do an ABS bleed procedure, you're going to need a special scan tool. That's if you had the entire system completely dry, maybe you replaced a master cylinder or there was a fluid leak and there's no fluid in the system. There's a cover over the master cylinder reservoir. Just pop this up. There's a couple clips. A clip under here. You can see the clip there, the clip there, that pops up. There's the master cylinder reservoir. Now you just want to take a clean rag and just wipe off the cap. You remove the cap. Set that aside. Now using a clean fluid extraction pump, we're going to extract as much brake fluid as you can. Get as much of that dirty brake fluid out as possible. That's good. Right on the reservoir, it tells you you can use DOT4 brake fluid. So we're going to use a fresh bottle of DOT4 brake fluid and top it off. I'm going to fill it all the way up to the max line. Take the cap, put the cap on. And tighten that down, snug that down. Then we're going to have an assistant pump the brake pedal for us and we're gonna to go to the right rear wheel and then the left rear and then the right front wheel and then the left front. Now you want to raise and support the vehicle, take all four wheels off, have your assistant in the vehicle pumping the pedal. Go ahead and pump the pedal five times, slowly. And then while they're holding it, take this cap off using a nine millimeter wrench. And I'm using a hose to keep it clean, but you're going to have a drain bucket underneath. We're going to open this up and we're on the right rear wheel first. You see the brake fluid coming out. No bubbles. Close it up. All right, go ahead, pump it. Now open the bleeder screw while they're holding it. Again, no bubbles, clear fluid. Go ahead, pump it. Close it up. And hold it. Open it up and we'll do it one more time. Go ahead, pump it. About three times is good. Hold it and we'll open it up. 
that looks good. And if the fluid was still dirty, you could continue, but that doesn't look bad. Snug that down, take that hose off. Just make sure that that's tight. Yeah, that is. And put the cap back on. You can let off the pedal in case you were holding it. Take a little brake parts cleaner. Just clean off that caliper. And then you're gonna do the same procedure on the left rear wheel. We're gonna to top off the fluid. Use some clean brake fluid and fill it up to the max line. That's good. I'm gonna put the cap back on. Now we're gonna be on the right front wheel. You're gonna do the same, take the cap off for the bleeder screw. You see, 11 millimeter wrench this time. And I'm gonna use the brake hose just to prevent, just to make it so it's not so messy. Go ahead, pump the pedal. About three times is fine. And hold it. All right, clean fluid, no bubbles. Go ahead, pump it, and hold it. Open it up, clean fluid, close it up. Go ahead, pump it, and hold it. That looks good. Close that up, snug that up, pull this hose off. You can let off the pedal. Put the cap on. Use a little brake parts cleaner. And now you can continue with the same procedure on the left front wheel. Now we just want to top off the brake fluid. Just take the cap off. Again, put that to the side. And just top off the brake fluid with fresh fluid to the max line. Close it up, snug that down. You can take the cover, line the cover up. Push the clips in place and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.